it's not even there anymore. It's just, it's unheard of. And then someone else. This space is actually closed right now to anyone to come and see, but they opened it up for us because the community wants to respond to the needs. Move it on. So, move it on. my favorite place in the world. Every other place I go, this is like a place where oh, I, look, the I walk and I just feel safe and happy, yeah. like my father's with me. It's amazing to see how the Christian community around the world through the fellowship is here on the ground as soon as disaster strikes to provide the families here with shelter, with food, with uh, shoes, with the, the basics that they need to survive. Been amazing is that the Jewish community has come together, really brotherhood, really fellowship, to provide for these people within one day their time in need. They went from normative families with homes to beggars with nothing, nothing, no passports, no kitchen, no washing machine, no shoes, no clothing, no bedding. And it's the Christian community that's come forth to really put their hand out and say, we're here with you. This is just testimony to how strong this bridge is between the Jewish and Christian communities. We've seen it for the past few years in a tangible way that the Christian community are Israel and the Jewish community's greatest friends, strongest supporters, and biggest advocates. And during times like this is when you see it that who's there to respond immediately, not only a relatively small Jewish community, but millions of Christians around the world. Um, so, <laughs> 